Hi, everybody. This is Jeffrey from Ripe Color. And this is Nancy from Nancy Jean's Garden. And we are here as the Daily Duo to read on five energies as we do daily. The five energies that we read on are body, mind, spirit, grounding, and clarity. I read five tarot cards. Nancy Jean reads five crystals in the garden. We both offer readings. We both have physical goods in the physical world available for purchase. Um, the information for all that stuff that I just said will be below our in our respective channels. <clears throat> Did I say everything? Yeah, that's it. That covers it all. Okay, good. Now you shuffle and make no, almost no noise, and I'm going to drop the rocks. And then make well, them. and now with these, you don't really hear the shuffling. Oh, my! Uh, my enormous microphone is in New York, somewhere in storage. And tell people where you are, and they may not know. Oh, I'm in Mexico City. Okay. I love Mexico City. It is one of my favorite places. I think if this is my eighth time here. I dated a guy who grew up in Mexico City when I was in college. Mm -hmm. And I never, I had the opportunity to go and I didn't go. This year oh, I got really sick. It's, it's really one of the most, it, for me, um, it, it's just, wow. It, it, as an artist, it's the most abundant place you could ever be. It, it's got to have everything. And um, in all honesty, I think the Americas are much more interesting than Europe. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, okay. So what's now, happening? For body, I have a little gift. I have a little healing. Oh, I have a cool. little, like a memory. I, but I feel like, you know, it's like a memory. So it's almost like a memory of what your body can do or a memory, like a, like a pleasant memory. Really, there's like, this, there's a sense of joy in this card too. Mm -hmm. And then, and also it's my set, I have, I have two sixes and two fives. It's very interesting. Mm. Um, now for mind, um, body, mind. So both of these are really about receiving. So I think you're going to be getting like downloads, like messages. Yeah. Like messages about how to be more uh, stable, be more secure, or maybe there's an understanding or an acceptance of oneself in one's body and in the physical world. And there's a certain um, comfort there. Really interesting. Um, for spirit, you know, spirit, we had this yesterday. So this is really about, you know what I always feel about this card? This card is really about, I've decided to like think for myself. Mm -hmm. you now I always feel like that because he was sort of the tie that, you know, the traditional, he was sort of the tyrant, like, I always feel, feel like the Peloponnesian War, right? Right. So Sparta and Athens had nothing in common, but when they had a common enemy, you know, you're my, you know. So, okay, we're going to stand together. But now that that's done, we're done. Like, I'll stand with you on that. Mm -hmm. But now I'm going back to my farm. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing my own thing. I don't need to follow you. I'm going to do my own thing. I have my own vision. And I think that that might be coming from the sense of comfort and 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 um, um, stability, I guess that you're you're feeling in your own mind and body, and body, mind, spirit, grounding. I mean, for grounding, I got this. This is great. You know, this is like this real benefic. This is like Jupiter. Um, so maybe a difficult time or a um, a, a situation that you were sort of like around, you know, kind of like unsure of has finally been put to bed, yeah. you know? And then, um, and then I get a five. So this five is really interesting too. So the, the television background is on so loud, I can't even tell you. Okay, you can't hear it, but I can. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, you know, this one is really, you know what I always feel with this one? It's like, what are you paying attention to? Mm -hmm. If you pay attention to the, like, oh, I'm out in the cold and I'm destitute, then that's what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. But if you just change your mind and shift your focus, which I think this is what's about, right? Mm -hmm. And maybe shift your focus to like, 
I actually, I am taken care of. Mm -hmm. Shift the focus to, I am loved, Mm -hmm. right? Then you'll be able to see, you know, the light that's there and the anchor that's here and the hope that's here. So you have the change. And then I think this is the shift of perseverance that's going to change the whole story. Right. That's what I think. I know I went backwards and forwards, but that's the way it goes. That's okay. I I never do this this rock the stones in the order they're they're kind of put out there, but I am going to start with body today because okay. body is in fire, and fire is our things that have happened in this life or from a past life, and it says that remember yesterday it was like sh- taking part of the past and carrying it forward. Well, it says yes now embody the past that works for you because your mind is really letting go of limitations and it's really getting ready to take off because your thoughts are all important in this project. You've shifted your energies from realizing what, what's going on around you at this time to um, making sure that the things you, that you want to have happen are going to physically show up in the near future and you got spirit and go for it again. Yay. Um, Spirit is aligned with your ideas and they're, tying it to your very root chakra to the things that ground you the most in this life. And that's what you say, you know, it's what you choose to focus on. So when you really let your spirit connect to your root chakra, then you can, you can go anywhere. If, if you're well rooted, it's not tying you down, it's freeing your energy up. And then clarity is in a great place. It's in true and in water. And when clarity is in true, it means your ideas are absolutely correct. And if it's in clarity, when it's with water, it means it's flowing forward. It says you have all the clarity you need. Follow one of the several paths ahead of you. Whichever one you choose, you will make correct. Hmm. So that's a great day. That's a great this. This just builds off so much. It's like where you want to see the energy flowing on the grid um, and on the in the garden. So um, and today is the seventh but we have no birthdays to acknowledge if you've been following us you know i'm acknowledging birthdays now and if you want your birthday acknowledged write it in in the comments and we'll make sure and you need to get it in now we're doing ones for may so you need to get all the may any may birthday you want to acknowledge which is my birthday month yay yay Yay. so thank you for joining us today we'll see you tomorrow blessings